today uh, analog communication lecture today we'll see the am receivers okay receivers transmitters and receivers so here a transmitter which is the main application for transmission the uh, transmission of signals from one place to another place up to now that's our communication deals with communication system deals with how an information is going to transfer from one place to another place okay so in this transmission obviously uh, in between channel will be there maybe that channel is a, a wire or wireless channel that we have seen in the first class so wire channel means how it will be what are the types of cables we are using and wireless means how we are going to transmit that one so wireless means we are transmitting that in a free space okay and now so we have seen how we have to transmit so by if i am speaking this just like that i cannot transmit so i need to increase the frequency of my <coughs> excuse me sorry i'm sorry so free, uh, so whatever i am speaking that the same signal i cannot transmit at a, uh, the same signal i cannot transmit why because of my i am speaking something so that uh, frequency will be very less this uh, at least at max it can go up to a uh, 10 meters much more that it cannot travel okay if i want to travel uh, my low voice signal means i have to modulate it and i have to transfer it transmit the signal okay how we have to modulate what is the modulation we have seen from uh, last classes okay we have to take one high frequency signal that is nothing but a carrier signal that we need to add that carrier signal to the message signal and then we have to transmit the signal that is the modulation okay after modulating it will get the uh, frequency very high frequency signal so that we can transmit that signal to any distances required distances based on that only we will give that modulation signal power modulation uh, carrier power okay so up to that we have seen that one transmission part now we can go for receivers part okay in this receivers so the mainly important receivers uh, what is the uh, receivers what are the definitions involved in that uh, receivers part that we will see okay am receivers and today we will start the digital communications am receivers in this two are there mainly okay the one is trf tuned radio frequency receivers another one second one is super heterodyne receiver trf receiver and super heterodyne receiver okay so what is this exactly means we will see now this trf tuned radio frequency receiver super heterodyne we will see one by one okay the first one trf tuned radio frequency tuned radio frequency tuned radio frequency trf receiver okay so the black diagram of this one is <coughs> the first one rf amplifier as usual so this is nothing but a tuned one tuned circuit i'm writing it as a rf amplifier next is a demodulator demodulator next is af amplifier power amplifier next is destination output output okay this is loud speaker okay here what is going to happening whatever we are transmit the signal that we are receiving through an antenna this is a antenna symbol this is an antenna symbol that we are giving to the rf amplifier so this rf amplifier so the signal is traveled from so long distances and it came and it is receiving here okay so after receiving this signal what we have to do we have to again modulate it 
because so this is amplifier why this it travels so much distance and it came to here so that this will become a weak signal this is going to be amplifying by using rf amplifier this rf amplifier circuit we are constructing by using a tuned circuit okay this is tuned with that frequency is fr resonant frequency this is a r 